make sure you never get caught up by people playing victim. And that means that whether there's certain people who end up blaming you for something, or even when you're speaking to people and they're always blaming other people and because of other people, because of their job, because of their boss, because of their boyfriend, because of their girlfriend, because of their parents, they aren't able to do something. Because guess what? If you allow yourself to dive into those conversations and indulge in them, you also become a victim and it dramatically, detrimentally, affects your manifestations. So it's very important for you to understand this concept and how to deal with these such situations so that you stay in the most high vibrational frequency for the better of your manifestations. We're gonna dive deep into this conversation today, but before we get into it, show real, hit it. Namaste everyone, Namo Himalaya. This is Sri Akashana here and in this video, I wanna break down for you just a few pointers when it comes to the victim mindset. What is the victim mindset? Well, you may have heard people before where they said, it's because of you, that's why that happened to me. You shouldn't have did that. If you didn't do that, that wouldn't have happened to me. When people blame you or people blame other people. People say, it's he who did it, it's she who did it, it's because of them. It's because of the government, it's because of society, it's because of their parents, it's because of people at work, right? When people start having that blame mentality, what are they doing? They're continuously pointing the finger outwards. They continue pointing the finger outwards. Now, it's very uh, important for you to get this. Why? But number one, it could be that they're pointing the finger outwards towards you and then suddenly you're feeling bad, like, oh, I did so bad, oh no, it's me who made them feel unhappy. But always understand this, I love it when Wayne Dyer used to say, if you take an orange and you squeeze it, what do you get? You don't get lemon juice, you don't get apple juice, you get orange juice. In the same way, if you get a victim mindset person, you squeeze them in a situation, what happens is they blame everything and everyone around them all the time. If you squeeze somebody who's got hate inside them, you get hate. Unhappiness, you get unhappiness. But if you squeeze somebody with love, in any situation, all you would ever receive is love. So what does this mean? It means don't take the blame. That's rule number one, right? It is your responsibility, but it's not your burden. This is what I want you to understand. What do I mean is your responsibility? Your responsibility is your ability to respond. In a situation where somebody points their fingers outwards towards you and said, it's because of you, that's why something happened to me. What is your ability to respond? By reacting? If you react, you become their vibrational frequency right? Or learning how to, in the most calm vibration, maintaining your state, because always remember, love starts from self-love. Look after yourself first, right? Take care of your vibrational frequency. Otherwise, it's detrimental towards your manifestations, right? And then learn how to let go so that you can continue to let in. Let go, let them go. Let that opinion go. It's purely their opinion. It's their frustration. It's their anger, right? They've decided to point at you because it's easier for them to give the blame to somebody else, right? And the second thing is understand that because we are all creators of our destiny, right? That's why we always say, I am creator. You are creator of your life. So I always say to people, whenever you point the finger outwards and you're blaming that person, this person, because of you, because of him, because of her, understand they should be pointing the finger inwards. If you point the finger outwards one time, you should point the finger inwards 10 times. Why? Because you need to look deep inside. How did I attract this in my life? That's what they should be thinking. Because they attract everything. They are creating their reality. You are creating your reality. When you are co-creating alongside their reality, they can say they blame you on creating their reality, but it takes two to make anything happen. So never take it as a burden or take the blame, right? Instead, it's very important just to take responsibility. What is my ability to respond here? Can I respond in kindness, in compassion, or am I gonna respond in fight and anger and frustration? 
always understand that's a choice. The moment you start reacting, guess what? You also dive into this whole blame uh, mentality. You also dive into victim mindset. I always say to people, you choose. It's your game. You either choose to be victim or you choose to be victor. You want to be victorious. You want to win in life. Then never blame other people. Take accountability. It takes courage. Not many people can do it. So when people are whining about all these things, learn to witness. Let it go. Don't be a part of it. Don't be a part of the bitching, the moaning, all that type of stuff. Let it go. When other people are pointing a finger at you, don't take it personally. I remember this story, this beautiful, beautiful story, when they talked about Buddha walking through the village. And this guy was shouting all this abuse at Buddha, saying, you're fake. Who do you think you are? Preaching and everything and teaching people life lessons. What do you know about life? And Buddha continued to walk and continued to walk. And he says, why are you not listening to me? Are you scared? You're a coward. That's why you're not responding. Then Buddha continued walking. Then what happened is this kid walked up to Buddha right in front of his face and said, why are you not responding to me? You're a coward, right? It's because you know you're doing wrong. That's why. Then what Buddha responded was, if somebody gave you a gift, but you re refuse to receive it, who does the gift belong to? Well, if I refuse to receive the gift, obviously it belongs to them. Buddha said, exactly. Today, you are wanting to give me this. But today, I'm not receiving this from you. So who does it belong to? You see, the anger and frustration will stay within them. If you are pure love, you're pure positivity, nobody can put the blame on you. Nobody can put their negativity on you just because they're going through it. You take this responsibility, you take this personal power, you take this courage to step up to be the creator of your life and watch manifestations completely shift in your life. If this video has been of any use to you whatsoever, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Also, comment below. Let us know your views on this one and let us know where you guys have tuned in from. That's always nice to know. And finally, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's a little bell sign, by the way, because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, I'm signing out. Namaste. Namo Himalaya.